This is Lenovo IdeaPad 1 model, which is 11 inch, and the actual model number IdeaPad 1 11 IGL05. Okay, so today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows in UEFI, either Windows 10 or 11. This is compatible for both of them. By the way, this machine does have only 64 gig built in EMC card means that storage and it doesn't have M.2. However, when you connect your bootable Windows 10 thumb drive, then we need a, some sort of pin because Lenovo doesn't have any functional key for the BIOS, especially for all the latest machine include IdeaPad, okay? So what are you gonna do now? We need to check on the right hand side or on the left hand side, there should be a little hole there and just beyond this hole, there is a button, which is called Nobo button. And while you switch off, if you click with some sort of paper clip or seam ejector tool or any sort of pin, it's gonna start up and it's gonna load up a menu, which is called Nobo button menu. That is included the normal boot, recovery, BIOS, boot, and system recovery. So we're gonna get into BIOS and hit enter. That's how we can get in there. So as you can see now, first of all, information, then configuration. From here, we're gonna change a couple of settings. We need to check if this is enabled or not. By the way, by default, almost any laptop nowadays on UEFI. So you don't need to change that much, but if it doesn't, that's how you're gonna do. So there are two things that you need to focus on. The secure boot, boot mode, UEFI, and boot priority UEFI first and then boot priority option we're going to choose my bootable USB thumb drive as a first boot priority once you save it pretty much that's all it take less than a couple of minutes to check this out and then once you save it is going to restart and you're going to see some sort of blinking from the USB indicator if there is any sort of line now it's going to load up from the USB if the USB, bootable USB, created correctly. So, if you don't know how to create a bootable Windows installer in UFI, you can check the video link would be in the description. Remember, there are two ways to create it. One, MBR boot record. Another one, GPT boot record. MBR always for legacy, which we didn't do here. And GPT only for UFI. okay? I would leave the video link on the description so you can check and you can get some sort of idea how to create it. By the way, now, as you can see here, it's loaded up. Select it, hit next, install now, and it's gonna load up some terms and condition. We have to accept that to go forward. Now in that point, it might take a couple of Minutes could be less, it depends. Accept the terms and condition, hit next. Choose the bottom option for clean installation. And now, here is the point. Before you delete any partition, make sure you back up your data. Otherwise, you're gonna lose everything. So bear in mind, okay? I'm gonna delete every single partition just to have one single partition for the entire drive because that machine does have only 64 gig, which is very tiny. And I'm going to hit next now. Once you hit next, pretty much that's all. You just need to wait until it gets to 100%. It's going to take a couple of restart. Okay. And also don't forget, when it completed and when it restart, it might come back to the USB boot again, which you don't want to do that. Why? Because it's going to go back to the same Windows setup page. The reason we choose this USB as a first boot. So what you can do when it Complete it and restart that time either you can take out the USB stick You can eject it by force and That time the system would not find that USB stick and it would reload from the internal drive as a secondary boot I mean as a first boot why because there is no more USB present so your second boot priority would be the first boot priority or You can go to the noble noble button menu and choose the boot priority option into internal rather than USB stick, all right?
Right, so it seems everything is fine now. It's loading up correctly. We're going to finalize the settings by choosing the keyboard, region, and other setup. You can skip some of them. Some of them you must need to select, as you can see. You don't need to connect to Wi-Fi because that might take longer to get the setup done. Why? Because it's going to take a lot of updates. Okay. So pretty much that's all. Still, if you do have any question, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel to show your support. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.